Assalamualaikum and welcome back. This video will help us to understand the general characteristics of phylum Nigeria and its body forms. Let's begin. The members of phylum Nigeria are mostly marine animals, but a few species live in freshwater too. They are radially symmetrical animals. For better understanding of radial symmetry, you can check my video related to symmetry. Its link is given in the description box below. The orientation of the Nidarians is in such a way that the mouth and tentacles both are located at one end of the radial axis. Nidarians are diploblastic. That is, the body wall is composed of two principal layers in outer epidermis and inner the gastrodermis separated by the mesophilia a membrane or a jelly like layer there are some specialized and unique cells in the body of cnidarians known as nidocytes these are explosive stinging cells used to capture the prey basically they are present in the tentacles that is surrounding the mouth while the digestive cavity is of sac type, it means the mouth is the only opening into the digestive cavity and such type of digestive cavity is known as enteron. Thus, it is also known as cilentron and from here the name derives cilentrata. Nidarians are either free swimming or mobile known as medusae or they are completely sessile. This form is known as polyp that is attached to a certain substratum and cannot move. In Nigerians, the nervous system is commonly in the form of a net with receptor cells dispersed over the body and such type of nervous system is known as nerve net type of nervous system. The other body systems such as respiratory, excretory or circulatory systems are completely absent because all the cells are close enough to the external medium so that respiration and excretion occurs directly by diffusion through the cell membrane. Thus diffusion occurs and there is no need of a complex system. Coming towards the next point that is regeneration. They have high regenerative ability. For example, when a major part of the body such as the oral end is lost, the remaining part undergoes reorganization to form a new mouth region and tentacles. Hydras have been shown to have continual replacement of cells so that none of the cells are very old. Therefore, they have high regenerative ability. Nidarian reproduce by both the means, asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction is very common, especially in polypoid species, those species which have polyp body form. The new individuals are usually formed by the process of budding. As we have discussed earlier in phylum Porifera, how the process of budding occurs. Same goes with the budding in Nidarians. A bud arises as an outpocketing of the body wall and thus contains an extension of the gastrovascular cavity that is interon in all of the body wall layers. The bud separates from the parent or in colonial species may remain attached as a new individual of the colony. Thus, a proper colony is formed which has common gastrovascular cavity. Let's jump towards the sexual reproduction. The sexes of most Nidarians are separate. The gametes develop from the interstitial cells and form aggregation in specific location. Thus, there are no specialized gonads, but the aggregation of the gametes is there. And the specific locations are whether in the epidermis or gastrodermis. There is no surrounding wall of somatic cells 
as in most other animals we can observe. The fertilization in cnidarians is external that is outside the body and development occurs in the plankton. After the period of gastrulation a larva is attained that is free swimming and termed as planula larva. This planula larva is elongated and radially symmetrical. Types of body forms in cnidaria there are basically two types of cnidarian body forms. First one is polypoid and the second one is termed as medusoid. Polypoid cnidarians have a cylindrical body with the oral and during the mouth and the tentacles directed upwards as you can observe in this video. And the oral and attached to the substratum. Polypoid forms include hydras and sea anemones. Medusoid cnidarians have bell or saucer shaped bodies with the oral and convex and directed upward, while the oral and concave and directed downward. The medusae are usually free swimming as you can observe in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. The next video would be about polymorphism in cnidarians. So stay tuned and stay connected. Share the channel, spread knowledge, love us.